If you've been in the outdoor survival camping world on YouTube for long, you're probably going to end up with one of these things here. This is a hydration bladder, and today I'm going to show you all the different ways you can clean it. Alright, thanks for joining me today. If you guys have used these things, you might be thinking, how in something I fill with clean water ever need cleaning? You know, how does it happen? How does it get dirty? But you got to remember, bacteria and mold are resourceful and they'll inevitably find a way into your hydration reservoir. Your best defense is to clean the system regularly. It's really not hard to do. The shapes are a little awkward and it helps if you have the right supplies and know a few tips. Now, we're going to clean this one today with, excuse my reach here, ah, some cleaning tablets. I bought these in Walmart. Um, they work very, very well. But there are other ways to do this. So I'm going to show you my way that I do it. But I've done it other ways and it'll work for you too, okay? So the first way is the cleaning tablets. You just, you don't you need any measurements, no cups, no half ounces, nothing. You just throw the tablets in, fill it up with some warm water and uh, let it sit for an hour and it will clean it out. Another way is baking soda. Now baking soda is an all around cleaner that's effective against odors. Normally a solution of half a cup of baking soda and three cups of water um, per liter of volume. So there's two liters, so you double that would be perfect in the reservoir. Another one is household bleach. Now, bleach kills bacteria and viruses. I'd say about five to six drops of unscented bleach per liter of water. So in this, you'd probably use 10 to 12 because it's two liters. And you can combine the beach, bleach and the baking soda if you want a more thorough cleaning. However, I have found that when you do that, the tube really needs to be cleaned out because that baking soda will clump up. Same with just using regular baking soda. It'll clump up. It's an awkward kind of thing. Now, in my better hydration systems, these unscrew, these don't here. These are just pressure fitted here and here. Okay, another trick. Now this is something you probably haven't thought about and this is good for cleaning canteens or thermoses or anything, denture cleaning tablets. They're not specifically made for hydration, hydration systems. These are used by lots of people as an, an, an alternative, ugh, can't talk today, inexpensive way to clean out your bladders. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through the steps using these. The steps to prep for cleaning are pretty much all the same always. You're going to do the same thing no matter what, but I'm going to show you how I do it. All right, your first order of business is going to be to empty it. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is just dump it out, shake it out, and you're going to want to disconnect. Now a lot of the better hydration bladders have an uh, easier way of doing this. This just unscrews. Some of them have quick disconnects. Again, I'm just using this one because it was available. You're going to want to take this thing here and as best you can, as best as I can demo, demo it, just swing it around. Drain out all the water you can, okay? Because that possibly is the stuff that has bacteria or anything in it that will cause mold or any kind of growth inside your hydration bladder. And I'll show you the next step. All right, this is the easy part. This is just where you're gonna put whatever you're using to clean inside. Um, I have a little warm water in here and I was pouring it in and figured I'd do the rest on camera. This is just warm out of my tap. I didn't boil this or anything. And I wouldn't use anything like boiling water into something like this. Even in your better hydration bladders. Toss that first tablet in there. And you can see it's like one of those denture commercials. <laughs> and I've been told that the Polygon actually does work very, very well if you get denture cleaner. It actually does pretty much the same thing, but it's not, it's because it's not labeled, you know, for hydration bladder cleaning. It's actually a little cheaper. So what you're going to do, as you can tell, there's a reaction going on there. What you're going to do, let me see if I can bring you up close to it, is you're going to let this go on for about an hour, okay? You're just going to let this sit. And what I do is when I come home after using this, I will, uh, I will do this. Um, if, if it's been in my bug out bag, generally I have two bug out bags that I keep hydration bladders full in and they have the very, very nice... Uh, system that allows you just to unscrew it on top here. So uh, I leave those for about six months and then what I'll do is I will um, take them out and do this and put it back in again. That way you don't allow anything to build up in there and if you maintain your gear now when you really need it you won't have a problem. So I'm going to leave this for about an hour and uh, we'll come back and check it out. Alright I did forget to take you outside and show, you, show me dumping it but <laughs> I guess you get the idea. Um, I went ahead and emptied it and now what I do, as for the drinking tube, unless it's really bad, I just let that air dry. 
Um, and again, on something like this, I can't take these ends off. On my other ones, they unscrew or unsnap. And I can actually run a um, little bit of paracord in there and pull a paper towel through it. But, I mean, I'm just going to let that air dry. It really hasn't been filthy. But I do take paper towels. And what I'll do is I'll go in here and just shove them in there and let them collect as much water as they can. You know? And eventually this is how we're going to store it to dry it. But I'll just let this go in here and kind of collect. And as you can tell, that's done a pretty darn good job. That's taken almost all the water out of there. But again, the one little drop of moisture in the corner there, and you could have mold or mildew. So, my final trick with this is I will take a couple of paper towels, get the old ones out of here, and I'll stuff it up in there, and I'll let this hang on a hanger overnight. Now, if you use your hydration bladders every day, I wouldn't say you have to do this every single day, but I would do it at least maybe yeah, once every two weeks, every three weeks. That way you don't have any mold or mildew or any kind of bacteria building up in there. Now this serves two purposes. The paper towels in here will catch all the water that drips on it. It also keeps it open. So you get airflow in there that you wouldn't normally have if it was closed up against itself. So what I'll do with this now is I'll just kind of stick it on a hanger over its side like this you know and I'll hang it up somewhere and I'll put the tube in there and just let it hang and dry or you can even hang it upside down if you're worried if there's a lot of water in there you can take a rubber band and attach it and I didn't bring a rubber band out but you can just take a rubber band wrap it around here and around there and attach it and just hang it let me back the camera out a little so you can see the whole package of what I'm doing here there and just hang it out like that and let it hang somewhere so, that's about it. It's a real simple process. I know a lot of people don't do this and they say, oh, I've never had a problem. The last thing you want is one of your bug out bags when you're running out the door to take your first sip of water out of your hydration bladder and it'd be nasty or mold filled or it'd make you sick. Even worse, I know a time where you could ill afford to be sick. So, this is really just a simple way to do it. You don't have to uh, go crazy with it. Oh, and this is just a bean I picked. We've got beans in our garden. If you're wondering what that was hanging out there. But this is just a simple way to do it. Real easy. Not too difficult. Even if you were just leave it like this. Kind of just sitting there at an angle. That will drain any water out. That will let the water get in. And again too, I noticed something here. If you're doing it like this, you want that airflow open. So you got to keep it open with another paper towel. And that allows you to get the airflow up in there. Dry everything out. And any kind of residual water will be caught by the paper towels. I'd say let that sit overnight and it'll be good to go. So, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.